Hey friends, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name's Tiara, this is The Black Truth Diaries, and today I'm bringing you guys a like holiday flavored taste test. So I did a fall one of these and you guys really liked it, so a lot of you said that you wanted a holiday flavored edition of this, um, and so I don't know how many holiday videos I'll be able to get out this year, full disclosure. Um, I had all these grand plans for fall and then things happened and I wasn't able to get a lot, so I am decking these hauls right now just in case this is like my only video I can get for the holidays. So this video I decided to do all things that were new this year or new to me. I didn't want to try anything that I have tried before, so I didn't get the silk nog stuff that's been on the market for a while that I have tried and I already know that I like so I'm really excited about this because I have no idea how I mean I have an idea how certain things are going to taste but for the most part I have no idea how things are going to taste so I'm I'm really pumped so let's get started we're going to do the coffee stuff first because this coffee uh, won't be hot for much longer. So the first one I want to try is this dark chocolate peppermint almond creamer by Silk. If you know me, you know that I'm not really a huge fan of chocolate in my coffee. Um, I used to really like the Java chip frappuccino as a kid, but that was really it. I like a white peppermint mocha, um, but I mean you can get that at Starbucks, but it's not on the menu anymore. I don't think it's been on the menu for years. But also I think that frappuccinos are a little bit different than coffee. I don't know. Comment below if you feel like frappuccinos are like more dessert than you do coffee. But here we go. So y'all know I love me some silk creamers. I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to see this. Um, and I chose a mug that had Christmas things on it. So we'll turn it to the side in case you guys can. Looks like a hot chocolate thing. I also made hot chocolate because uh, like I said, I don't know that I'm going to like this in coffee, but I might like it in Sorry guys, my ring light went out because this year won't let me or anyone else be great. Um, but yeah, I might not like this in coffee, but I might like this in hot chocolate. I actually think I definitely will like this in hot chocolate. And I don't know about y'all, but I don't love taste test videos where people try everything that they know they're going to hate. So like I didn't want this to be that, and I don't think I'm going to hate it. I just don't know that I'm gonna like it. But also, maybe I will. We're gonna hope for the best. Oh, I should have sniffed it before pouring. Here we go. Smells like chocolate and mint. Here's what we look like with the coffee pour. Typical silk, creamy color. Cheers, guys. So if you don't like a lot of mint in your mint mochas this is going to be good for you because i really am not getting peppermint why did i fill this up all the way regardless this is not super minty definitely dark chocolatey not as like bad as i remember i just i don't know i know chocolate and coffee are very a very popular combination um but just never been a huge fan of it but this actually is pretty good pretty good I still think whatever is left I'm probably going to take to my parents house and my sister will love this absolutely yeah so it's okay um it's not as minty as I personally would have wanted it but I know for a lot of people the mint is like a little powerful um let's try it and some hot chocolate shall we we've got the um Swiss Miss dairy free hot chocolate like I discussed in my last video. I used water again for all you water stands. I'm glad people appreciated that I used water because I really wanted to use milk, uh, but I didn't want to compromise the integrity. That was a lot. I didn't want to compromise the integrity of an instant hot chocolate. So let's try it with this. I just said that was a lot and here I'm pouring more. Yeah, I'm not really getting a strong mint. So if you don't like a lot of mint, this is great. This just kind of made this extra creamy hot chocolate, which I'm not mad about. Yeah, just really subtle. Good, just subtle. Probably wouldn't get again because it's not my thing, but I'll enjoy it in some hot chocolate. Okay, so silk down. All right, next we're gonna try this guy. I'm super excited about this. This is the Natural Bliss. Um, this one is almond milk based again. I think everything is almond milk based, but these two also have coconut milk in them as well. 
but um, almond natural bliss almond milk creamer in caramel toffee super excited about this because I love toffee I love caramel I love like all of those like burnt sugar and cream flavors like butterscotch butterscotch coffee and <laughs> butterscotch and toffee and caramel I think those are the three all right let's sniff this oh man oh man it's definitely much more toffee than caramel Ah, oh, that smells so good oh my goodness okay natural bliss isn't always my favorite creamer just because um, I usually get them in like a vanilla you know regular schmegular and the vanilla is too sweet and I don't think I've for me personally but I don't think I've had like a fun flavor of the natural bliss um, non-dairy ones but yeah so this is what it looks like kind of matches my sweater so I don't know if you guys are gonna see it and let's pour in the coffee we filled less than last time but I think I did enough creamer for a full cup so we'll see if by the end I'll get my ratios right but it passes the like creamy look test you still smell a little bit of that toffee oh my gosh okay this is so good so good it's creamy and the thing about the toffee part is it's nice and like toasty tasting Oh yeah, really, really good. This coffee I made is not it though. It's kind of bland. Oops. Yep, I will not be sharing this with my family. <laughs> this is so, so good. Oh my gosh. Because I am so hot. I'm like so dressed right now. But I did, I did this. I did this for uh, with the aesthetics, as the Gen Z would say. Actually, like I would be like aesthetics, and Gen Z would be like period. I love my coworkers. They're so cute. Yep, I have absolutely nothing negative to say about this i'm it lived up to my expectations i'm very happy um i mean if you expected it to be more caramel than toffee i guess you might be disappointed i they could have just called it toffee there's a fine line difference anyway but i am i'm a very happy camper right now all right so next up i'm going to do is this also a toffee one sure is <laughs> toffee tidings that's great we're gonna do that side by side um this is I don't know how to pronounce this. I don't know if it's Califia or if that's just me thinking of Wiz Khalifa, which is kind of what I think every time I see this, or if it's Califia. I'm going to say Califia so I don't accidentally say Khalifa. Um, and this is, oh, this is just, no, it is almond. They call it almond milk creamer, but just a note if you're allergic to coconut, there is also coconut cream in this. So just a. Uh, thing to let y'all know. I mean, it's on the front, so. But, um, so I usually don't get Califia creamers because to me, they're so good flavor-wise. They're just not creamy enough for me, which is stakes because they always have so many options. Um, and it always looks like it's going to be super creamy. And like I said, the flavor is good. Ooh, she's thick. I don't know if this is good. Oh no, this looks like real thick. Oh no, I'm gonna be so upset if this is bad. I don't know if I should do this on camera, but I don't remember these being this thick. What if, what if it's, what if it is and this is embarrassing? All right. I think it's okay. I'll let y'all know if I die in an hour. Um, <laughs> yeah, it just looks thicker than I remember them being. Well, maybe it will be creamy because it's really thick. I don't know. Oh, that makes me a little nervous. I don't think I've ever seen it this thick before, guys. I put in a lot on purpose of this because, like I said, life experience. That's going to be embarrassing if the next one is not thick. And then you guys are going to see that I have given myself food poisoning. I'm just not sure. I'm so nervous. Okay, let me stop. We're here. We're in it together. Um, just smells like coffee. Doesn't smell quite as strongly toffee as the Natural Bliss one. Cheers. I don't think it's good anymore, guys. So we're gonna go on to the next one in a moment. Oh my god, don't say I never do anything for y'all. So if it's not bad, it's been in the fridge. 
If it's not bad, then it's just bad tasting. Yeah, it says 1621. It was perfectly sealed. Y'all saw me. I think y'all saw me. It tastes like bad milk. I'm hoping that it's just bad because I don't like reviewing things bad. But that was. All right, we're just gonna move on. Wow, I lost like all sense of vocabulary and grammar through that experience. I don't know, I can't tell. Okay, so this one I'm also excited for, although now I'm nervous, but this is the eggnog creamer. So I've tried this brand's eggnog. Another thing I didn't wanna try on camera because I've tried it before. And I remember liking it, but not liking it as much as the silk one. Um, I, love eggnog. I know that's like not a popular thing. Okay, so this cap doesn't look nearly as thick as the other one. So like, I'm not going to show you guys. That's gross. Um, so I think that that one just went bad, which I'm really sad about because I really like toffee. Anyway, I have been really excited uh, for this because I, I love eggnog and my stomach does not. So I used to get eggnog lattes at Starbucks. All of, like that was my thing. White chocolate mochas and eggnog lattes. So this is thick, but not as thick. So just, just so y'all know, she's still thick. And this one smells like eggnog. That one smelled like nothing. So if this is good, I'm gonna be so excited. Good as in tasting, not good. I mean, I'll be excited if it's good as in not bad, but oh, did I even show you guys? I'm sorry. This is, this is what it looks like. A little yellower than my sweater, which is, you know, what eggnog is. But if this tastes delicious, I'm gonna be so happy because I always feel like I have to make a full latte with a non-dairy eggnog, and creamer's just more convenient, guys. All right, cheers. Oh, this is what it looks like with the coffee in it. Now cheers. And this is my issue with this brand's creamer. It's just not, the flavor, the eggnog part, eggnog part is good, but the cream part of the creamer is just not it. I wonder if I mix it with like a plain silk creamer, if it would be better. Please hold. All right, so we've got silk half and half. Otherwise I would just use like soy milk. Now I'm so nervous about everything. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna add a touch of that. Look at that, look at that. I wish I were talented enough to have zoomed in. You would see all the swirls of the creaminess, like silk, you spoil me. So like now it's like only a lightened, sweetened, lightly sweetened eggnog latte type of thing. So I can drink this and be happy. I just have to mix it with like a plain non-dairy milk or creamer. I'd probably mix it with vanilla because I'm irreverent and don't care about sugar, even though I should. But yeah, so not bad. If you are someone who likes their, like just like, a taste of creamer, a taste of the holidays. You're not like wanting to be like, bam, in the face with like the holidays. This is where it's at for you, this brand's creamer, because I think that their flavors are great. The creamy, this is just not it for me. So if you were never like a big creamer person, but you want the flavor, this is the brand for you. Um, yeah, so I will enjoy this and I'll probably buy it again because I know that I can drink it with another creamer and I'm never someone with just one creamer. Um, but I just don't think it's a strong enough standalone for those who like a lot of creaminess in their coffee. So the clear winner of all the coffee creamers is the caramel toffee for me. This is, this is it, this is beautiful. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire, like here for this. If you want your chocolate fix, I'd go for this. If you want, nog but not a lot of creaminess go for this um and i'd say check the expiration dates but you know there, there was so much promise for 2021 so here we are okay so non 
coffee wise, I should probably like drink some water in between, but I'm not going to. We've got this guy from Trader Joe's. I'm so excited about this. This is Sugar Plum Sparkling Beverage. I am not like a big soda person, but I love a sparkling beverage, um, especially because I am a singer and so I, it's not like I never drink, like don't at me, anybody who's gone out with, out with me, but I don't like to drink all the time and I don't want to justify that but I think that even if you're choosing not to drink you deserve a beautiful sparkling beverage this is she's sparkling too like I'm trying so hard not to like spill this everywhere <laughs> and I mean sugar plum like nutcracker ballet is life it smells like what you would expect from sugar plum plummy with some sugar we've got ice we've got the fancy glass you know, sometimes you just want to end the night with something that makes you feel bougie. And this is what this is about to be. Oh man, I can't. It smells so good. Okay, cheers guys. Okay, let me get the coffee out of my mouth first. Woo! This is lovely. Not super, super duper sweet as I find some um, sparkling ciders and sparkling grape juices to be. Not a problem. Just throwing that out there. Uh, this is definitely plummy, so if you don't like plums, probs not for you, but yeah, super good. I like this a lot. Good amount of bubbles. Let's see. Yeah, and it's carbonated water, plum juice concentrate, so there's actually plum and it's actually high on the ingredient list. Sometimes, not the case for juices. White grape juice and natural flavorings. So, this is really good. I enjoy this. Um... I think this is a fun twist on your usual white grape juice, cider, cranberry juice, all those other flavors that typically come in sparkling. This is, this is lovely. This is a nice little palate cleanser here. All right, and last but certainly not least. So I think that the United States has some sort of war on gingerbread going on. Like, okay, so hear me out. First, the coffee made gingerbread creamer discontinued. That was like way, way back in the day. And I was so upset because I actually liked that one better than I liked the International Delight, which was my thing as far as brands go. But I was like, all right, so we'll just keep drinking the International Delight one. Discontinued. All of these vegan brands over here have not picked up the slack for me and I'm real upset about it. So none of that. And then Starbucks just in the States just in the states discontinued their gingerbread so like i can only get it at duncan which i love duncan but let's be real sometimes duncan and their syrups are not always the best even though i'll drink them anyway and i'm just like so mad that i can't get gingerbread everywhere obviously i love gingerbread so i saw this and i got really excited because someone came out with something new that has some gingerbread in it because I don't know what it is, but apparently we don't like gingerbread anymore. But I love gingerbread. Anyway, Skinny Pop Popcorn, gingerbread cookie flavor. I have been wanting to bust this open for the three weeks, I think, that this has been in my apartment. Okay, we're gonna get close to y'all to show you what this looks like. Oh, I thought this was gonna be like a drizzly one. I think there's like a little bit of, it's like kettle corn in like a, no, it's just, it is kettle corn, like it says it on the on the front. But sometimes I find with store-bought kettle corns, it's really just like salt and sugar mixed in it, not like the actual sugary, almost glaze, if you get like a fresh kettle corn thing. So, let's go up close. Do y'all see how it's like, dusted with gingerbread -y dust? So that's how it looks. Let's try it. Sniff test, smells like sugary popcorn. Not mad about it. Ooh, this piece looks so good. All right. It tastes like a nice, lovely gingerbread cookie. But that saltiness of popcorn. Tastes like a cereal. If you made gingerbread smacks, or corn pops, probably corn, corn pops, because it's popcorn. It's lovely. Tastes like childhood because it tastes kind of like that cereal. It's gingerbready. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is probably going to be obliterated. Also, just for clarification, because everything's been a beverage, this is dairy free. It has a V2 
vegan sticker on the back. Like, I know that some of the Skinny Pops do have dairy, so I was like, I don't know if I should include this in the video or not, because I just impulse bought it, because I gotta support gingerbread in these hard times. Um, I looked on the back, and I was like, oh, certified vegan by vegan.org. Vegans, help me fight the war on gingerbread. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this. If you have made it this far, you are the realest. And please comment down below with like a Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, festive snow emoji. Because like, you, you're a real one and you deserve all of my love and attention because this video took a turn. Um, if you try Toffee Tidings and it's not, it has not gone bad, please let me know if it's good. Um, but something tells me caramel toffee is still going to be much better. Anyway, this is the end of the video. I'm trying to do an outro. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe to my channel. Comment down below um, any videos that you want to see from me. Like I said, life's a little, little hectic right now, so I can't promise I can get things in. But if you guys give me ideas, it makes it easier for me. <laughs> okay, so love you guys so, so much. Happy holidays and have an amazing day. Bye-bye.